Hey, what we're doing here is the assembly of the Joe Gun JG Three Star. All right, so um, I have the two boom pieces set up here. This is the rest of the radials for the antenna. All right, here we go. All right, here's our gammas. There's more parts. There's more parts. Here's all of our parts. Everything is labeled nicely. Uh, mass bolts. The boom bolts are what you're going to be here to assemble the boom. Then we're going to be assembling these in. So it's kind of like uh, a little bit of a light mist rain here. So well, I'm not sure how much longer I'll be able to video. But uh, they have everything set up mass bolts, spokes spoke lock screws main element screws everything's in here um, going by the instructions and what's labeled on the two boom bolts boom huh, on the boom that uh, it goes this way from back to front they're going to be toward the top so we're going to turn it this way right here they give you six bolts in the bag <clears throat> with washers so you get a flat washer on each side the lock washer and then the nut on the other side so I'm going to get these installed onto the mass pipe now all right was really looking forward to having something positive here um, I did take this off pulled both ends out and spun it around the other way to see if it would go because I've already had it spun the other direction and I was trying to get these through when I could get those three through on this side. But some of these holes, if you see, even if I try to move this thing around, are pretty far off. Um, I mean, you know, sometimes stuff happens. But uh, I might have to drill this out a little bit here. I got the drill. Got some bits. I'm not looking to do anything too crazy. Hopefully not. I can just run the bit in and owe that out and then get it through kind of a little bit of an angle. I mean, sometimes this stuff does happen. Um, it might just be this particular piece. Um, yeah, because I don't think it's this because that one went in over there. So one of these holes is just off a little bit right there. I'm going to get that done, draw a hole, then we can get on to the next part. All right, very simple fix. I didn't even have to, you know, drill much in a second here with this one. So... Uh, this will conclude getting the, the boom, I guess, together. Pretty easy. All right. One part's done. Um, and we have an empty bag. So we're going to go on to the next part, which I believe will be installing these cross sections here. Down through there. I'm sure you have to pop this off like that. Yep. Pop that off, slide it through, center it out. There's already holes here to install that. So let's refer to our instructions and double check that. All right. So I got this tightened up. It's their 11 mil or 7 16 uh, bolt head and nut here. All right. So now if we go down to our next one, uh, locate the eight spokes, which are these, and then install them into the holes one through three. So, boom, boom. All right, so we're going to get all those installed. Um, those, they are a 10 mil or 3 8 right here off the top. So, I'm going to get that started. Basically, you have to pop this off. All right, feed it through the hole. You can reinstall this once it's through like that and then what you want to do when you're installing this is you can see the hole down through there to the side back in basically get this started down in like this you can look at the side kind of these are usually just like that okay and tighten them down that's all you got to do easier to do those three first because they run crosswise 
well, straight up and down basically. And uh, the other three, I'll have to turn and the bolts go in from the top. Right there, you can see the hole. So, yeah. I'm gonna get ready to install these this direction and then we're down to uh, assembling the radials. ran my bolts through from the side that they had their sticker placed pretty interesting now basically this thing states <coughs> to uh, set beam on temporary support uh, and then take the six fence el six foot elements and install them into the spokes um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install one of these down radials here all together and then I'm going to hold it straight out like like this because this is pretty much how it's going to be because that's level and see how long see how far out that goes to see what height I need from here to the ground to be able to hold my base up and then I'm going to make something I, I have some eight foot and then I have some 10 foot two by fours. So maybe I can just uh, screw through this into a 10 foot two by four and then screw another two by four into it and kind of make like a tripod support to hold this up. I mean, it's not that there's that much weight there. And then um, it will be close enough to the ground to actually get on it or get access to it to adjust or gammas uh, to the correct SWR and then I'll probably uh, just guy wire it to the ground until my tower is actually ready to go up which will hopefully be very soon get yeah, starting to get a little bit evening-ish out now um, but it shows here on the paper one two three and if you look we have one two three okay um, on the back which is number one the element will actually be longer. You can actually see the difference. So longer, and then it'll get smaller and smaller toward the front of the beam. Now, with each one of these, being that there's three pieces, there is three of these, okay? So these are your uprights. And then you need one, two. I'll move this one over here. And we'll just back these two up right here like this so there is our three separate elements and each one will get the long ones then it'll get the ones in the middle the smaller ones and then the very small ones will go on the front so see one two and then three will be our front all right your gammas will get mounted on number two and that is something for when we get this done but number one is going to be the longest and to be able to see how far off the ground i need to have this mounted i need to install all of the ones for the number one so i'm going to do that we're going to get that assembled here so we have main and tip so these will be the tip screws i'll have to make sure that i have the same have the right size for these this one's unopened. Like I said, they're glued and stapled. It's pretty, pretty nice to make sure that you don't lose this stuff. Okay, so we have our tip. These look like they're going to be a half inch or you can use a flat blade screwdriver. So what you're going to do is you have to untape these and then line your holes up and then you'll insert your screws just like that to hold them together. So I'm going to work on getting these all assembled all right so we have all of our radials installed uh two and three are sitting here i just kind of wrapped the tape back around them after i had them assembled kind of keep them separate even though they're easy enough to tell 
Um, number one is over here leaning up. I did stick it up so an eight foot two by four is going to work just fine to set the boom mass up off of to be able to get this assembled. So <clears throat> like I said, with this going on, I have all of that stuff taken care of. Everything seemed to work out really good. Just one of these one of these little uh, rubber things here was kind of disformed just a little bit, which is not something that you can hold against them because I'm sure they had these made somewhere. So I just trimmed it out a little bit with a razor blade. Be careful when using this. So now that it's dark, there's what I had to, just had to trim this little tiny piece out just so it would fit in. The molding was just not quite right on that one. Now, I'm gonna clean up all my tools. Um, I have everything set up to hopefully tomorrow um, get some wood made and then I can get a, uh, a mask to put this on and then I can get the rest of this antenna assembled. I have to cut down the coax that I got and um, basically this just kinda, you put an end on the coax and then it just kinda goes right onto here. <clears throat> and there is no ends easy enough all right calling it a night um halfway assembled uh we'll get this thing up and running and show you guys what it looks like and how to get this thing tuned